This is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will see the different rules for naming or declaring the variables. The first rule will be the variable name should start with an alphabet so as I said here in the example we can see dim variable 1 if we had put the variable name as 1 var then the declaration is wrong now let's just try it out by ourselves so delete this Now let's open up a notepad and dim var1. Now I've declared that variable. Now var1 now var1 equals I'll put a value inside this maybe I'll put a integer one two three now message box one two three sorry message box var1 now once if I save it and uh, declaration rules for dot vbs I'll save it now I'll uh, double click that and I can see that this shows the uh, information that I've provided or uh, the declared variable value is shown here now let me just go against our first rule that is the variable name should start with an alphabet what if I start with a number I'll change this to a number I'll save it and if I run the script once again, I can see that the line 1, character 5, is having a problem. That means our variable declaration is wrong. As you can see, that the fifth, fifth character here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is number 1, which is wrong. Now, let's see the next rule for the declaration. The variable name must contain only underscore as the special character. Now let's implement this rule and let me put another rule. Or or we can write okay the underscore must not be the starting be at the starting all right now let's just try it here variable underscore one variable underscore one variable underscore one the only thing which I used the only special character I used here is underscore and let's see if the script works I'll go, I'll go here and the script works now let's try it by putting an underscore in the beginning of this and uh, let's save the script and run the script once again as you can see it gives an error for us now let's uh, let's try another special character other than uh, the 
whatever the the underscore so let me try hash 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 let me save it and run the script it says an invalid character at the the sixth character is invalid all right uh, let me just change this sorry it's already in all right now this is correct except that uh, the variable name has an hash, hash included. Now let's go back and run the script once again. As you can see, the character number 10 is wrong or has a syntax mistake. Now if I start counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10th character is hash. Hash is wrong. Hash should not be included in the character name. All right, that's the second rule. Let's go back to the rules for de declaring the variables. And it should not be starting. The variable name should not include 255 characters. Now let's not try this particular thing because it's going to consume a lot of time of our video. If you really want to try, you can try it by yourself. And uh, I, don't, I don't really think this will matter you because nobody's gonna put a variable name as long as 255 characters, obviously. Now let's go for the next rule, that is, a variable name must not be, sorry for the grammar mistake, whatever, must not be, A VB script keyword. Now this is a little tricky, but it's it's uh, it's interesting. Let's go back here, and uh, let's just say that I give message box as my variable name. Have you ever thought of it? If not, you can think now. Message box. Message box. Message box. Don't get confused. It's very simple. Let's try it with message box one message box one and message box one and let's see interestingly it will work if i try it works but if i remove this number from here then this particular variable name is equivalent with one of the uh, functions or one of the uh, VB script keyword. So this will not be read as a variable name by our VB script. Now let's just save it and go back here and let's try running that and you can see that the type mismatch and the character number one, line number four and character number one. So line number four, character number one. So message box, this itself doesn't, message box, doesn't show or doesn't allow you to show a message box as a variable so that's what happened here so basically what you need to understand is you cannot insert a VB script keyword as a variable name so that's all about the uh, different rules that you need to take care of it's not very complicated even if uh, it would be a little difficult to understand, but as you go through the lessons, this will be uh, uh, this will be really easy for you to handle. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.